This is a Kenda K413 tire that's going on the front of my Tau Tau ATM 150. Uh, I've been having a, a slow leak about 5 psi per week on my present tire. Um, it's been to the tire shop and several times now and I still have the leak and so they recommended that I try a new tire so I got a Kenda. Um, the dimensions are 130 60 R13 and today I'm going to have the tire shop put it on. After that I'm going to show you guys how to install it onto the bike. I got this tire from leatherup.com for about $42. It's a 130 60 R13. I got my front wheel back from the tire shop. It's got a new Kenda K413 on it. Apparently that, uh, the problem was with the old tire. Um, it's a stock tire that comes with the bike. Um, apparently the stock Chinese tires that come with the bike, this Tau Tau, um, are of questionable quality. I've gone through two of them, the original one that came with the bike and then a, then a replacement the exact same tire. Um, both of those had problems, so I went with the Kenda. This is the speedo gear side of the wheel, and the speedo gear fits right here. This is the rotor side of the wheel, and there's a spacer that fits right in here. This is how I left it with the wheel off, so I remember how everything goes back together. This is the nut, the speedo gear puck, spacers on this side and then the bolt. kind of hard to show this but there's three things you have to do at once you have to get the rotor between the two brake pads you have to get keep the spacer in that that hole there and then on this side you have to keep the gear puck in place the speedo gear puck you have to do all three of those things at once. As you can see, the speedo gear puck is slotted on, on two sides, and it, you have to key it into the into the wheel. Next, I'll insert the spacer. Now I'm going to drop down the front end of the bike so I can get the rotor between the two brake pads while holding everything together. And then line up everything so I can get the axle bolt through.
Okay, so I got the rotor between the two pads. Now I just need to bring the bike down in front of the bike. Now I'm going to push the bolt through. Like so. And you can see on this side, on the uh, speedo gear puck side that this has to be keyed in right here on the fork there's a notch and it's it's got to be keyed in properly and now for the nut I'll need a 14 millimeter wrench to hold the bolt and a 17 millimeter socket for the nut and I'm using a torque wrench and I'm going to torque it down to 40 foot pounds. Now first I'm going to tighten up that nut by hand, this wrench, 17 millimeter. Get it snug. Now I'll torque it down. And that's it. Time for a test drive. I guess it would make sense to check the air pressure to make sure the tire shop did their job. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. I use a Road Gear digital tire pressure gauge. And it's at 33 PSI, so I'm going to go with that.